Hey guys, what's up and welcome to this new video on Weather Gaming and today I'm gonna show you how to build a Raspberry Pi NAS Samba server. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. So this means if you have two hard drives and you connect them to your Raspberry Pi, and after this tutorial you will be able to access those two storages with your Windows PC. In this tutorial I'm going to use the Raspberry Pi OS or Raspbian Buster and SSH to communicate with a Pi. If you need to install Raspbian, then check out my tutorial on it on the top right corner. And if you want to know how to use SSH, then check out the video on the top right corner. Firstly, let's update the Raspberry Pi by simply typing in sudo apt-get update. This might take some time, but after it's done, you have the newest version of the Raspberry Pi. Now enter sudo apt minus get upgrade. Now we want to install the NTFS uh, package on our hard drives by simply typing in sudo apt minus get install NTFS minus 3G. Now we want to know the address of our external drive and to do this simply enter sudo f disk minus l So now there's a list of all connected hard drives to your Raspberry Pi. In my case I have two 1TB HDDs connected to my Pi and they are called slash dev slash sda1 and slash dev slash sdb1 and in that case I need to type in sudo mkd slash media slash NAS HDD1. You can name your folder uh, at your interest. It does not need to be NAS HDD1. Now let's type in sudo user at vetho minus m minus capital G users. Now type in sudo passwd vetho. And now you can set your own password for the user vetho or in your case your username. After that you can type in id minus u and your username, in my case vetho. And now I have the four digits and do the same for id minus g vetho and you should note down those numbers. Now you type in sudo nano slash a etc slash fstep. Once the nano interface opens, you can now copy the text you see on the screen and depending on how many drives you have, copy it one, two, three or maybe even four times. But you always need to adjust the name, for example NSHDD1 and NSHDD2 and SDA1 and SDB1. So that means I just set up my media folders with NAS HDD1 and NAS HDD2 and connected them to the hard drives. So you should exit the file. Now you can type in sudo reboot so your Raspberry Pi can restart and save the changes. Now you can install Zamba by typing in the following command sudo apt-get install Zamba Zamba-common-bin. Take in consideration that this step may take a while depending on your internet connection. Now type in sudo cp slash etc slash zamba slash smb.conf space slash etc slash zamba slash smb.conf.old. This makes a copy of the smb.conf file. After that type in sudo nano slash etc slash zamba slash smb.conf to open the nano interface and configure this file. Now you should go all the way down and copy this text you see on the screen. If you have multiple hard drives like me, for example two, then you should redo this task two, three or four times depending on how many hard drives you have connected to your Raspberry Pi. You should exit the file. Now you can type in service smbd restart, so it restarts the Samba service. And after that you need to authenticate yourself as the admin and after that you've done this you type in sudo 
S M B P A S S W D minus A and your username in my case Vathel and then you type in your master password for the SMB service and then retype it and after that it's added to your username and after that you're basically almost done. Now let's move over to the file explorer click on the button connect network drive and then just type in the file path backslash backslash your IP from your Raspberry Pi backslash the folder name, in my case, NAS1. And voila, you've connected the Raspberry Pi folder NAS1 with the hard drive and your Windows PC. Now do the same exact step for your second, third or fourth hard drive and you're done. You have now created uh, your own Raspberry Pi NAS. I hope you've enjoyed this little tutorial and if you want more videos like these, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notification and leave a like on this video. And as always, thanks for watching.